we're gonna show you an easy way to set up the center support brackets. These are a new adjustable bracket that will fit the Sherlock Holmes, the Watson, and eventually the Mycroft game topper. We're gonna to show you how to set up the Mycroft, but the same principle works. You simply measure your inside dimensions of your game topper on the back side. We've done that. You can see here, this here is 48 and a half inches. And so we've lined up both pieces, part A and part B, and we're gonna line up these holes. You have two sets of, of bolts. You have some that have a hex head, and then you have some that have the hammer head. The hammer head is for the ends of your rail to go into the topper rail and for your leg brackets. The hex head nuts are to secure the center support. So we're gonna put these in, and it's important to note that these need to go inside just like this. And so we want to put on the Mycroft, you're gonna put three of these bolts in, and on the Holmes and Watson, you'll put four of them. So you'll notice there's an extra bolt left over when we do the Mycroft, and that's not a problem. And you just line up the holes and adjust this a little. And then you can just thumb tighten these, wa these uh, locking washer nuts. Don't over tighten them right now. We're just gonna put them in really loosely just to hold this all in place. You're gonna see that we have center supports. These are for the two furthest outside portions. And then we're gonna have one support that has two bends that go in between both of these rails. You try to do this on your table on the floor, it gets a little fiddly to adjust to get these holes to line up. But if you just lay these down on a flat surface like you see here, it's very simple. Then we're gonna take one of these supports that has the angle that goes into the other rail and we're going to put that across this screw, this bolt, and then just lightly put that on. Now this is ready to install, to go over to the topper bottom and install. You're gonna repeat the process with the other support on a Mycroft, or if you have an XL topper, like a Holmes or a Watson, you'll have two of these supports to cover both seams. Now what we're gonna do is install the center support. These has two of these flanges and you're going to just wanna hook it on that screw. It's important not to put a lot of weight on the center of the table. Try to put your weight on the rails if possible. We connect that right there. That hooks on that bolt. And on this bolt, we're gonna tighten that just snug with your fingers, and then we're gonna to go to the other side. We're gonna snug that up, or just snug fit right now. We're gonna put in the hammer screws into the rail to secure all four ends, and then, after the hammer screws are tightened in, then you tighten these screws and all of your cross support nuts. Then we're gonna put in the two legs for the center leg of the Mycroft. Beans, this is six feet long. We need extra support in the center to support the leaf so that it's very stable. So we're gonna install the hammer screws. You notice you want the flat side of this triangle to go into that rail, and then the legs are going to attach. All right, we have it all set up. Now it's very important, two people or more, to flip this over. You don't wanna flip it over with one person and put extra tension on these legs. That could cause them to bend slightly, which you wouldn't want. This whole table with supports is about 100 pounds. So we're gonna set it down gently. 
Now we're going to pick up and put it on its table without putting pressure on the legs. Roll out our mat. 